Hello, I'm starting off a new vlog. <laughs> Welcome. So I'm walking past St. Peter's Square and I just realized that I actually haven't been inside in a while. It's actually so busy around here. <laughs> I haven't been inside. So I'm gonna walk in and see what's in there. And then I need to grab myself a cup of coffee, well tea in my case, in a coffee shop because um it's actually quite cold like it's so weird it's cold but the sun is out so let's go into saint peter's square and see what's in there and hopefully it's nice they actually have a cafe in here which is awesome so i got myself some tea but their tea is not it's not landing <laughs> also my eye is like swelling up i don't know what's happening there but it looks like they have a library and um, some historical kind of monuments um, upstairs and they're only open for 30 more minutes well 45 but yeah let me see what i can find so funny i just bumped into a south african apparently i'm a dead giveaway that i'm south african um i'm wondering what it is about like my face that kind of gives it away maybe it's because i like have a friendly face and south africans in general are friendly yeah <laughs> so maybe that's what it is but yeah it's always nice meet, 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 meeting people from home um it's almost gonna close now so i think that i'm gonna just do one floor of the library and when i get a chance i'll come back again because they're closing but that was quite nice it was nice and short and brief i think i will come back though um but one thing that i am interested in is the manchester um, museum so one of the things that i saw inside there was talking about the manchester museum and how it's inside the uni of manchester which i definitely need to go to once it reopens because apparently it is undergoing reconstruction but the thing on the wall there was basically asking a question about morality of the type of pictures that we take on social media these days and how in the ancient times there used to be more like authentic pictures and it was questioning the morality of like how we apply filters these days to everything and will that actually um, be a true representation of how our society was for future so it got me thinking like our kids when they look at our pictures and they are like oh these are the women that existed in the times of the 2000s or the two 2020s they're gonna be like oh people look so perfect um because of all these filters and stuff but that's not true now is it but then again probably the whole of society will be like even more evolved by then um but yeah it just it really got me thinking I am going to grab something to eat quick um, and then I'm going to go back home because I need to chill a bit and then I just need to open my laptop because I am an auditor and as auditors do, you open your laptop um, <laughs> before the week starts. Also, one of my colleagues said my AirPods are big. <laughs> I clearly have the old version now. I'm sorry, I don't keep up with trends. That's just, I don't have such such things in my life. But yeah, let me grab something quick. It's now Monday evening and I'm home. Um, it's actually, it's quite late in the evening. It's around 11 o'clock. And I'm about to go to bed, but I've started doing this new thing. Sorry, I'm trying to set myself up here. <laughs> I've started doing this new thing where I do like a Pilates routine in the evening. And if you work an office job, this is really highly recommended. It really, really helps me because my body gets so stiff. And yeah, the stretches really help me out. 
also it reminds me of when i was at home in south africa last year um i used to do the same routine with my little sister and yeah it just reminds me of her so i'm gonna show you the video that i usually do um i forgot her name on youtube but she's a lady that does pilates like pilates classes on youtube and i just usually just switch on one of her 20 minute routines and when i say usually i've only restarted this like two weeks ago but it's really helping me with just stretching my body out and also just feeling calm and rested before i go to bed so yeah i try to do it like three times a week which is helpful um and yeah let me show you i don't know if you can even see me properly but i usually just set up like in this middle area here by my door and my bedroom and basically i got this um yoga mat it's actually a, i don't know if it's a yoga mat or an exercise mat but i got it at one of the shops up the road and it actually wasn't even that expensive it was probably like seven pounds um which is quite good it's quite sturdy um yeah and then i roll that out roll it out it's actually supposed to go the other way around this is not smooth at all <laughs> and then i play the video on my laptop so this is the lady if you can see um her channel is called let me find it is a willy yeah her channel is called is a willy and she does brilliant pilates classes and they're free they're on youtube she recently uploaded a new one which i'm going to do now and it's called the 20 minute body pilates workout for beginners um and yeah i think she also uh, just had a baby and her strength and her core is incredible like she amazes me and she's just amazing anyway i'm gonna do this routine <laughs> and then i can go to bed <laughs> That was very nice and relaxing. Okay, I need to go to bed. Um, the nice thing about these classes is that, well, they're not meant to be intense, so I don't need to take another full shower. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go to bed now, and tomorrow's another day. <laughs> Um, we don't have any consultations. Yeah, so. Guys, it's Friday today and I'm leaving the office and I'm literally, I'm having an internal dilemma because there's an office social. I look so crusty and I would planned to go, but now I'm just like, I'm not sure. Um, yeah. I'm gonna walk out and see if I still feel like going. It's like 10 minutes away from where I am. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to the social. <laughs> the introvert in me is like, just go home and sleep, bruh. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna go home. I'm, I'm gonna go to the social. Uh, I'll probably stay for like an hour -ish and then go home. And I need to fix this hair because it's overstayed its welcome now. now and guess what i ended up not going to the social i realized that i wasn't feeling it and i was trying to force myself and that was not going to happen so yeah i ended up not going to the social and i don't know if you can even hear me i've got the micro running um and i am making lunch i just came back from the gym i unplanted my hair and um i'm trying to decide whether it's gonna go or i'm gonna plant it so yeah, we'll see.
um, I'm gonna make lunch quickly. I already actually started eating this rice because I'm so starved. Um, it's this rice from Little. Is it from Little? It's from Asda. Aldi. One of the two. But yeah, it is really nice. It's brown rice. Um, no, it's it's red rice, wild rice, and whole grain rice, and it is really nice and chewy. So that's what I'm gonna have. Also, jeez. Well, that was noisy. Sorry about that. Um, I don't think I'm going to leave this house today because the, t the, the weather is just looking odd. Like it's looking weird. It just looks like it wants to rain. And I wanted to go out because um, I had some errands to run. But I don't think that's going to be today's thing. It's probably likely to be tomorrow. So yeah, rest of the day, I am going to chill. <laughs> <laughs> my mom would kill me but she's not here <laughs> um so yeah i wanted to have a chat so i was having internal conversations at the gym and one of the things that i was thinking about was goal setting and how it's so easy to drift from your initial goals fun fact i eat with a teaspoon it's just a thing that i do <laughs> random this is actually quite good it's quite nice and i'm hungry so anything would be nice at this point so the thing i was thinking about when i was at the gym was how it's actually it's quite easy to tick off goals from your list um like if you for instance have set yourself a goal to let's say go to the gym um you just you kind of need to get the habit in place of like going to the gym doing the thing leaving and doing it every day right it's difficult but it requires discipline and discipline will lead you to that place but then there's another part of achieving your goals which is more grit i don't know if that's the term for it it's like identifying the parts of your goals or the step of your goals that is the most um growth inducing let me give an example so of my goal at the gym is to gain muscle or get stronger which is what my goal is for this year i really want to get stronger and we can get into the whole uh, conversation of why that is i'll probably speak about it at the end but if my goal is to get to the gym and get stronger so i can like for instance i've said okay i'll go to the gym regularly and i've said the amount of times that i want to go um per week and i've kind of said i'll try and do these exercises but that's where the problem lies is that like i've said I'll, I'll i'll aim to do these exercises but i haven't been rigid um in terms of i will do these set of exercises i'll listen to or watch um videos that demonstrate how what form to use at the gym for those specific exercises and what what form not to use how not to get injured like teaching myself the things that will make me break through that goal so it's one thing to go to the gym but it's another to kind of break through the difficulties of the goal that i'm trying to reach and i don't know if this is making sense but i just think that the core of goal setting or goal goal reaching is being able to crack the code to the part that makes you grow the most so yeah getting back to my point about me trying to gain muscle and get stronger at the gym i have been doing cardio for a while and i really enjoy cardio and it's my thing it's my go-to thing and i have been doing strength exercises and really just patting myself on the back for kind of the bare minimum and i haven't been focusing on my form and it's just a bit all over the place but i'm like it's whatever i go to the gym as much as i said that i would but I think that I need to refine my goals in order for me to reach the actual goal that I set. So I need to actually research on how do I get stronger at the gym? What, what does strength actually mean for me? Like, what does it mean for me to be stronger? Like, I know that I want to be able to, well, not lift, but I want to just be able to feel strong, like... I don't know if, if anyone relates to what I'm talking about, especially 
if you're in your late 20s i think this is more of a relevant conversation for those people but well, late 20s early 30s <laughs> um but yeah i just get stronger and also there's a lot of things that are pushing me towards strength like i have the reason that i set this goal was because i feel as though yeah my health has not been the best in the past year or so and i really just want to drill down on the things that i felt were the weakest so i i haven't felt like my muscles were strong and so i'm really focusing on eating foods that are high in protein and kind of just making sure that i get all of my um essential vitamins and paying attention to my health and um, paying attention to my health goals and whether they are actually healthy um yeah and i am waffling but my point is i want to get stronger because it's just good overall and also just thinking about the future um strength is probably an important thing because it's likely that i will become a mother in the next few years realistically speaking and i just want to be able to have that strength of being able to take care of my kids and I've heard from women who've had kids before that it takes a lot to get back to your body um, and not to say that I would expect exactly the same body but I think that it's just good to lay the foundation of health and strength and not just cardio queen because cardio is great for the heart but it's not great for strength let's be honest but yeah let me eat my lunch and I think that I have spoken enough <laughs> about to go to bed i actually just finished doing my meal prep for next week uh which always makes me feel set up for the new week and a bit organized so yeah that helps if you're interested in doing meal prep or making your meal prep a little more exciting check out my youtube shorts because i know a lot of people think that meal prep is very boring and i guess it's down to preference but i prefer having a structure to the coming week in terms of what i'm going to eat especially because the week gets really busy like there's just no time to think about what i'm having and if i'm going to be intentional about eating healthy healthily i need to have a plan <laughs> in action so yeah meal prep actually really helps in meeting your health goals if you are someone who is interested in that um so yeah check out my youtube shorts for ideas on what to do when you're doing meal prep also as a side note but also related if you're in the process of trying to lose weight or anything similar to that um and you are considering counting calories maybe have a look at my latest nutrition video because that might shed some insights on whether you should consider calorie counting or not um yeah have a look at that video and let me know what you think i'm gonna end this video here and thank you so much for watching if you've watched up until now i really appreciate it if you can do me a favor and subscribe to this channel so that we see growth that would be highly appreciated um but yeah i will catch you in the next one bye